Hello. Oh, hello. You ready for that one? Yeah, I certainly was. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Captain's Draft 4. Today we got something a little different for you. It's going to be very different. Thank you, Purge. A fantastic you intro. Keep carrying <laughs> fantastic this one. Fantastic <laughs> note. No worries. So we've had a great Captain's Draft day before today. It's been a few, yeah. There's a been few a good few. days. But today is the finals day, ladies and gentlemen, where everything comes to a head and the greatest games that we can offer with the greatest teams are coming. But not, not now. Definitely not now. No. Perch, what do we got going on today to start off the show? Well, we got this little mode called Ability Draft. Yeah! It's, uh, one of my favorites. You have to be a bit of a mechanics nerd to enjoy it, so I think this is going to be torture for you. But I'm Indeed. sure everybody in the crowd is on the same uh, enjoyment level as me about this. So Tell Should me a little bit of, why do you like Ability Draft so much? When I play it, yeah. it makes me feel like an idiot. Yeah, it's very humbling. It's a, it's, it's a good way. I, I feel like Ice Frog should mandate that every account has to play Ability Draft oh. like once every month. That way you can realize that game balance is really hard. I, I think that would be a smart, smart decision. Basically what you do is you go into a game, and you have the ability to choose three basic abilities and one ultimate. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter what hero you are, you can choose whatever abilities are there. There's 10 players in the game like normal, and you've got like 15 hero abilities to choose from, mm -hmm. and you take turns drafting um, what abilities you want. So the good abilities, you could have, you know, uh, uh, Slark's Essence Shift, which shut deals up, agility up, on dude. ranged here. Okay, I don't want to give him too many <laughs> no secrets. Tips, but no tips. We talk about that during the Basically, you can build something really overpowered, but more commonly, people build terrible things because they don't truly understand how to balance the game. But it's fun because you can f get whatever crappy builds you grab mm -hmm. and match that with items that make it somehow less bad. Oh. So it's kind of like this fight to grab something really unfair and beat your opponents with that, or block what your opponents are getting. It basically changes the game in a lot of interesting ways. I see. So you do play it unironically. I really do, yeah. Wow. It's actually very popular, very popular game hmm. mode. Um, not conventionally. I think uh, it's kind of been under the radar for a couple of years. But um, a in the last, no, existence? honestly, in the last six months, <laughs> it's been swinging up, and Valve uh, uh, massively updated it in 7.00. So the, oh yeah, they did so now it. all people can complain about is it being imbalanced, which is pretty much as a result of people being bad. See, uh, what so. did you think about Meepo being removed? That was one of my favorite parts of Ability Draft. It's been he's been gone for a while. I'm sure there were tons of bug interactions. That's one of the downsides is like to actually code it to make sure that it can work, it probably takes a lot of work. Because mm. otherwise you program it for this ability to work exactly this way with this ability, but all of a sudden once you split these up, it gets kind of complicated. So there's th some things aren't in ability draft, like Puck's Illusory Orb is too difficult to code, Oh, phase shift, things like that. Now I've seen, if you actually have too many abilities or something, a random hero ability will come up. Have you ever seen that? One time there was just a Zeus Slacks, we could We could talk about ability draft bugs literally all day, <laughs> so it's probably best we don't. But most of those ones are, are semi-removed. Um, some of the eggs, or yeah, there was a couple of heroes that had bugged ones, but it's pretty good right now. It's yeah. mostly, there's very few bugs as a whole, so. Can I ask you a, yeah. a personal question? What's the worst ability draft build you've ever done? Me, myself? Uh, yes. There's so many. <laughs> a lot of times you think it's going to be good, and then you get in game and you realize, like, oh, I don't have the ability to push lanes, or oh, no, nobody on our team has disables because we're all trying to get these cool carry passives and stack mm. them together for efficiency. But then you just, you just lose. It's it's very common. So you got to find out how to fix that, or mm. and uh, can try I not tell to you mine? It. Sure. One time I wanted to build an invincible hero, so oh, I that's took very common. witch doctor's heal, okay, dragon blood, yep. and uh, huskar's heal. Okay. And I thought I'd never die. That's more creative than most. Most people just grab like Kraken Shell and Dragon Blood. I was playing Crystal Maiden. Oh, okay. Yeah, you, you had some issues. Yeah, you can't always, you can't force things to work always. There's a lot of limitations. Hero speed, stat gains, things like that. Yeah. Her max HP was 300 mm. at the time. Oh, okay. It didn't matter how much regen I had. But anyway, yep. so let's talk about the players who are playing in this yeah. game today, Perch. Did you do anything to prep them for this moment? Well, I uh, prepped somebody on your team for two players on your team for a little bit, actually. But that's about Whoops. it. Yeah, it's not, it's not looking good. We, we did not grab the best of the area. <laughs> We, do this? we grabbed some. We grabbed some of Moonduck's best. Some of Moonduck's yeah. best. So. Great. Well, my team and I stayed up all night last night practicing oh. pubbing. We never stopped. As uh -huh. soon as the event was over, we went home and ability draft. We've got you know the classics of the sticky napalm shadow shaman shackle. Okay. I mean, yep. That, that you you do know a combo. That's good. We've been practicing. That's a good one. So yeah, it's going to be Moonduck's staff basically. It's going to be a lot of familiar faces. Some unfamiliar, 
but mostly familiar. There's no reason to rip these people. They're our friends. The whole thing, we're going to rip people the whole time. Absolutely. Well, I cannot wait for my team of valent underdogs okay. to beat you and your totalitarian ability draft regime. It's going to be good. It's going to be just like the Revolutionary War, but this time America is going to win. Okay. Yeah, actually, I do have a lot of Euros on my team. Yeah, yeah, okay, you got, you got America claim. That's fair. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, how about we introduce those teams for our Ability Draft show match? Here we go. Oh, yes. Can you hear the music, Purge Gamers? That's my son. Wait, uh, he's so sensitive about the sides. Ladies and gentlemen, coming out for Team Slacks. Turn up that music because it's, it's Trent! Trent packs the Canadian killer! Wow. Weighing wow. in at 3,000 maple leaves. He's high on maple sugar and he's ready to kill. I told you we had to be together, you oh, idiot. Okay. Uh, on my team, I got the best player. It's gonna be Sindarin. He's coming. He's Very, coming. He didn't realize. Oh, there he is. There he is. It's my my pocket ace. Thanks for. Wow. Amazing. Incredible. Coming up next from the other side of the world, the smartest man in the building. Let's give it up for J -J 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 Jack. <laughs> Oh, the crowd wow. goes wild! Wow. Behind his Buddha-like exterior lies a killer. And the next person I... We, pimp, I get... Yeah, Pimp, you can come on the stage. It's, it's fine. Come on. Pimp. I got Pimp. Yeah. Very confident about Pimp. Hopefully he can gather information in-game while he's playing. Fingers crossed. Up next, the fan himself. Destroyer of teams, the scene, and my life. It's Suns Fan! The Hog himself, the Hog and Doss. And the other person that made Captain's Draft happen, Nikki. Is she ready? Bring out the woman! Yes! So many pub games together against Suns Fan for the first time. And now, you know him, you love him, my muse and moo ducks only available talent, it's Mott Dota! Give it up for Mott! Oh, he's ready. Look at him go, he's more hyped than I've ever seen. And up next for Team Purge, we got Zyori. That's it, huh? That's pretty good. <laughs> A lot of style, maybe he'll get Dazzle, who knows? And my final player, coming in at an incredible more pounds than anyone else ever on this stage. The one, the only, the pussy, oh god, I actually said it, I just meant to. Uh, the man himself, it's Blake, bring out the Blake! Coffee wow. at the ready. Incredible. Dota player. He's always wearing athletic wear, he's ready. He's ready. All right, and uh, the last player on my team, Team Purge, Stretching hard for this one, we got Tacos, 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 also known as Carlo. Trace Tacos! Two, three. three tacos. The admin of the year! Very good. There we go. Thank you, Trace Tacos. What an amazing amalgamation of players. What kind of things do you think your team's saying right now? That was... Not much. They're, they're really going to lose. A morale razor right there. It's all up to Blake. He's probably the best player on the team, to be perfectly honest with you. Oh, yeah, for sure. You. I mean... So well, we got some limited hero pools on both teams. I mean, if Shannon doesn't get a strength hero, I'm not sure if he knows what to do. That's correct. On your side, I don't think Pimps actually ever played the game. It's, it's been a while, but he does watch a lot, and he looks at stats. I don't know if that matters. Yes. Layer. Maybe he can overlay you a win. Probably not, though. Was that a basketball joke or like no, a layup? No, like he no? makes okay. Uh, okay. overlays. Oh, shit, I said it wrong. I think there's some potential. I think Cinderin is going to pick very good abilities. He's going to snowball hard on a semi-carry or carry position Ooh. and just roll you guys over. That's what's going to happen. A folly many people have had in their lives trusting Cinderin to win them games. 
Okay. And we will see it again here today. I'm excited for Zayori. Yeah. Just in general. He seems like oh. a real nice boy. He's, he's excited. That'll help. Yes. I know he plays support a lot, so I know he'll probably buy wards, unlike you. Yeah, he That'll will help. lose. That's a great point. Although wards are kind of useless if you don't look at the mini-map, so maybe it won't actually help yeah, too much. You're really funny for a guy that's so I stupid. I, I don't look at the mini-map. That's everybody. <laughs> let's be real. Come on. All right, fantastic. Let's talk about my winning team. Oh, right. All right. Oh. Play the music, Buka. You know, the uh, the Confederate. I mean, not I mean, the Revolution. Just play the drums. Buka, you got the drums? <laughs> We're rock. There it is. Oh, there we go. Teams! Will the winning team present its duelist? That's my team, Purge. Oh, okay. So the uh, the other winning team. To the front of the stage. Anyone? Do we have any good rock paper scissors people? It's, uh... Nice coaching, dude. Carlo Trace Tacos. Oh, okay. All right, here we go. Gentlemen, to the stage. Back to back. Would you like to do this one, Purge? Give it. Give him. Give him the energy. All right, get ready. Uh, one step, uh, second step, and uh, do a third set, and then, you know, uh, get ready and spin. Fire! All right, that's, that, looked a, uh, that looked a lot like a gun at the start. I don't know, is that, is that valid? No, he's fine. <laughs> All right, one, two, three, boys. One, two, three, fire! Oh, yes! Ladies and gentlemen, Blake, do you choose the side or the pick? You say it, you don't whisper. Dire. Say it! Dire! Dire! Fantastic! You literally can't choose pick or side in ability draft. This is. Just worthless. ask him a question then. How uh, was your day? I'm pretty sure. You Wonderful. Can't. Wonderful! That, was, that actually accomplished nothing, but. I liked it. It's nice, yeah. Ability draft has some limitations, yeah. You can't pick your hero, you don't get to choose your side. It's not fun. It depends. <laughs> depends. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think we're about ready to get this show match on the way. Team Slacks versus Team... Energy. Enthusiasm. Great. All right, yeah. Team Energy, here we go. Also, we're casting, you and me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, be good. Sorry, everybody. All right, let's get down to it at the caster's desk. Oh. That's a nice picture of you, Bert. Oh, great. That's not cropped correctly at all. That's a great way to advertise my Twitter profile picture. That's great. That's a great way to advertise my giant forehead. Thank oh, you so much. All right. Well, we got one player not in the lobby somehow for that entire process. That's Tacos because he was on stage. Tacos! Busy, busy losing. Tacos, Tacos, about to jump into okay. the game here. He's not going to let me down in game. I know that for a fact. He's, okay. a, he's a good one. I've actually played Ability Draft with him one time. Oh. It was his first time. He got a, he got a pretty sick combo. He got uh, Chain Frost and Berserker's Call. Worked out great. Really? Yeah, oh, you set, throw he, it he and carried then you me blink in and then you call and then they or all get Or you just hit, call huh? and, yeah, it's like a vacuum and a stun in one ability. There's a lot of things like that that actually are pretty abusive. There's, you know, you think about your normal combos, mm -hmm. uh, Rupture and some movement ability. You can put those on the same hero make it happen. You don't have to get two heroes to do one cool thing. You just have to plan ahead and hopefully nobody steals the good stuff from you. Cool. So most of the players do have their soundproof headsets on now, so we can talk about strategy. Perch, okay. what are you looking for? What's the most broken thing in Ability Draft All right, right so now? So when you, when you queue into an Ability Draft game, the most important thing is to look around the screen and see what's the tier one abilities. It's usually abilities that make or break a hero that make them very effective. A good example is Ricky Maru. What's his best ability in your opinion? Um... Can you name any of his abilities? Just one. Smoke screen, blink backstab. strike. Okay, uh, permanent invis is what it's currently called, but I know what you mean. Great. Um, it used to be called backstab, and his ultimate is tricks of the trade. His best ability is his it, permanent invis. It gives you damage, it makes you invisible. Invisibility is strong, right? Wait, it gives you damage? It increases your damage. You do more damage from the back based on your agility. So oh, that's if you grab, oh, yeah. Wow. So if you grab that ability and put it on an agility hero that's actually fast, has good stat gain, then all of a sudden it becomes good. Or if you pair that with something like Rot or mm. a stun, you could just stun mid. It's a lot more annoying than a Ricky with Orb of Venom or a Bounty Hunter, right? But what about Smoke Screen? It's okay. It's not a super good ability. It's situational. Not amazing. But permanent Invis, though, that is what makes Ricky strong. Guaranteed. There's counters to permanent invisibility, though. Of course there are, but... But not Smoke Screen. 
but if you calm, okay, let's 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 focus on it. Let's change topics. Okay. Uh, how about Sand King? What's Sand King's best ability? Sand King has Burrow Strike. That's yeah. his best ability. Absolutely. That's it's arguably a, it's top three ability draft abilities in the whole game. Top three. Yep. If wow. that's there and the first person doesn't take it, they're dumb. Wow. Or bad at ability draft. That really tells yeah. me everything I need to know about ability really? draft. I mean, yeah. right, Burrow Strike is the hypest thing the game has. It's not mode the has. hypest. It's the best single ability in a lot of ways. It, it's a Why? very low cooldown, 11 okay. seconds. It stuns. Mm -hmm. It repositions the hero. It's also an AoE. If you get an Aghanim Scepter, it becomes better. There's so many reasons. There's so many little abilities like that that make or break a hero. Oh, and really make here good. we go. Ladies Ooh, okay. and gentlemen, it's ability draft time. Look at that beautiful new UI. Oh, my God. Zyra actually got Dazzle. Oh, my God. That is game. actually insane. That's random. That's actually Woo! random. What I, if he just builds Dazzle? Is that the play? All right. If, you, if you're really lame, you can pick your character's abilities. But let's look really quick. This is the most important part of the ability draft. What's the OP things? Okay. We got Rupture. Tidebringer is good. Rupture is okay. Third. Burst is very strong on Bloodseeker. Tombstone? Tombstone is pretty good. Not super OP, but good. Uh, we have uh, Skeleton Walk on Clinks is really good. It's very high movement speed, invisibility. That can be OP. You got Sticky Napalm, so we have some combos that could be good. Healing Napalm ward. and, and uh, Rupture. Are you just going to keep saying things? No. Are you telling me to name the good one? Healing ones? Ward is fantastic. Oh, uh, it's okay. Blade Dance can be really good. Jug's passive. Jug Spin is very good. High damage. There's there's a lot of there's all so many other things in ability draft you have to keep in mind like don't grab too many skills that need a lot of ability points or sometimes you want to grab an ability that's really good with one skill point like the sh uh, oh he's building kunkka okay Wait, not no, a good no, no. sign just for the talent he may right? have randomed it's a possibility no, if you don't no, no, pick no. in time it randoms you an ability this is one of the worst things that can happen these guys are not good ability draft that is pretty what clear. Are you talking leap about is not what? is not the first ability leap snag is hype. somebody should have grabbed thirst by now to carry with it uh, <laughs> All right, Pimp's going to have a rude awakening here when he realizes that it doesn't actually increase your range to 600 when you use Searing Arrows. So there's a lot of mistakes. Ravage, that is the first good pick we've seen. All right. That's a Got my bat boy rider. Break. Wow. My boy break. Round of applause. Woo. Ravage, One team die. fight abilities, it's just good. Oh, he is not going to build Dazzle on Dazzle. Inc incredible. Uh, incredible. This ability is pretty good. Strafe increases your attack speed. These are Most of these are Tier 2, Tier 3 abilities, I would argue. Things like Lightning Bolts. Tombstone. The fact that Thirst is still there is mind-blowing. The fact that Tidebringer is still there is mind-blowing. Okay, now I know what uh, Cinderin is doing. He knows about the talents. He okay. wants the ships. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah. That could be true. Uh, that's it. And same thing with, uh, well, actually, the ult isn't affected by talents anymore. Oh, I've so got some good ultimates, dude. Okay, there we go. Rupture coming out here. Clinks from Sunspan. Now, I know Sunspan loves to play oh, tanky God. heroes. And he has clinks. And why did he grab that? Yeah, he's going to combo with some other low cooldown ability if he's... No, he's just going to play Zeus. Okay. Okay. Well, uh... Without the ult. All right. Yeah, without the ult. Um, <laughs> he could get... You know, there's there's some potential. He would want something spammable for his last ability. Maybe he'll have Arc Lightning left over in the end. Oh, Tacos, Tacos, Tacos. He's grabbing some good stuff here. Skeleton Walk means he can gank around the map, basically at level one or later. Rupture is always going to be effective. Mach going for an interesting skill build. I, you know, the Purifying, purifying flames. flames are okay. actually pretty good with the Agnum Scepter. Maybe he's just going to go for an Ags. Uh, it's okay, yeah, but it's an Ags that only increases his one ability so far. If It could get better later. There All right, Zyor, bring Zyors it in. Oh, yeah, gets dude. the one. You're going to get wrecked here. I, I, Jack's build is okay so far. Blade Dance is, is a very good crit, one of the best in the game. But I'm not sold on OD regular stacking. Uh, it's actually pretty good. He has really good stacking. Uh, okay. Jack's build could work out. I like the Tomb with Ravage pickup. Very good team fight. That might be hard for the enemy team to deal with. Interesting uh, great pick. That felt grave. like a random to me. I'm not, I'm not so sure. Shallow It's a good grave. ability. It, right. it genuinely is because there's a lot of really overpowered things later on. Okay, he's building Kunkka. He's alive building is, Kunkka. This is really bad for me. Is this, how, is this how ability... I mean, this is pretty common for new players. It's easy to go for the things that feel make you feel comfortable. Oh. Okay. All right. I like this. All right. Changing it up. So it's good sometimes to do something like this. I think he may have been thinking of his talent tree here. Because sometimes people have talents that uh, involve one of the skills you normally have. So mm -hmm. he may have been thinking, I want to make sure I can get my level 25 talent no matter what. Interesting, interesting. We still got some big ults still left over. Kind of, yeah. Uh, I think the best one remaining is definitely Death Pact. It kind of makes any hero into a pseudo carry. Mm -hmm. That'd be a really good pick up here. Pimp going for Sticky Napalm for... What the Fairly hell? low, unsure reasons. <laughs> uh, but uh, Sticky napalm? Yeah, it doesn't really... It, maybe he's trying to prevent somebody else from getting it. Could be the case. All right, Jack's build is legit now. This is oh great. Oh, my God. Jack is a killer. Lots he's gonna of be physical a, damage. Woo. It's good. Uh, 
Uh, why? Right. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that one doesn't make a huge amount of sense. It's a. It's she's a, an aura fighter, okay? It, yep. She's got the heals. She's got the regen for the rest of the team. She doesn't have any yeah. spells to spam right now. Helps allies spam abilities. I like the Torrent pickup by Mott. It's a good grab. It's a little undervalued, in my opinion, in my ability to draft games. It's a stun. Pretty low cooldown. 10 seconds AoE. Taco's going for Soul Rip here. I would prefer he goes for something higher action. I can't believe that Tidebringer is still in the game. That is insane right now. What's so good about Tidebringer? It's it's a farm ability. It's it can make heroes carries. It's a lane harass. There's a lot of abilities that are valued just because they win you lanes. For example, like Poison Sting right. is one of the best. Wow. Draft okay, abilities. I have no idea what Suns fans thinking. What it's is this? It's not bad. It's, How is this it's not high bad? damage. What? He, he can max Blade Fury. He can get one Blade Fury and max Lane Bolt. He's gonna have damage at seven, which is not bad. And I believe he can cast spells while lassoed. So I think his build actually kind of makes sense. He can get a Blink Dagger and basically be a better version of Bat Rider right now. I think oh, Suns fan build is. is not bad. All right, I'm down for Nikki's build now. Okay, yeah, Arc it's not bad. Lightning with unlimited mana. She's yep. going to be a machine. She's also not going to do damage oh, is the negative. All right, the fact that he got Tidebringer scary. Now, I'm not 100% <laughs> on how Tidebringer functions on a ranged hero. Oh. I've never been uh, crazy enough to grab it, not ensuring. This is one what? of the downsides of the ability draft. I, it might not work. I think it does, though. Why would so we'll anyone see what he, pick up Poison what? Poison Touch. Uh, Dazzle does have some Poison Touch perks, sort of. Um, <laughs> It's not terrible, actually, because he has Thirst. He's going to be moving really fast, right-clicking really hard. He can basically permanently chase somebody down with this. I don't think it's terrible here. I think Pimp Uncle might have just randomed every ability. It's It looks a little bit like that, yeah. he's been a, But he does have both False Promise and Shallow Grave. It's going to be really hard for my players to die mm. because of that. Well, you're assuming that he's going to cast any of those at any yeah. time. So. I'm, I'm pretty sure Sindarin's going to go for something like Veil, E-Blade, Dagon, something like that would be how his build kind of makes sense. He's going to mm. go around comboing people. Next question is, where do people lane? It's kind of a hard thing to know because everybody's playing weird builds. You don't really truly know if you're a support, if you're an off lane, if you're a mid. You have to make make some assumptions. Usually you put the guys that have the best builds mid so you can get the most levels. Oh. If somebody needs farm to be good, you would put them in the safe lane. I think Jack could be mid or safe. Wh which builds do you think are best on your team based on what you can guess? Uh, all I need to do is look at Jack's build. Okay. He literally right clicks anybody and they die. So let's get down to the match. Ladies and germs, it's Team Excitement versus Team Slack. You sound like you're on Team Excitement now. I, uh... You're a little overwhelmed. That's okay. It'll make a lot more sense once we're in the game and then we can see truly how bad the builds are. But I think the ones to watch, I think Zyori's build is very good. Um, I think uh, Suns fan's build is very good on the clinks. There's a lot of, a lot of unknowns. For the All spectator, right. if you want to check any builds, click the hero, or you can mouse over their icon on the top. I don't know how familiar people are with ability drafts, so. Wow, you know, look at that. Puka Ooh. gave us flags. That is so, he, he did that in like five seconds. Thank no, you no, so that's much. No, that's actually probably they chose their team. <laughs> Sasman, you can do it, buddy. He, he has made some mistakes. The hero has atrocious int gain, so that means he's going to have to get something like a soul ring, arcane boots, before he can really be effective. But he also has 42 base damage. It's not great. But. All right. Well, I forgot that I had to cast this game. So, ladies and gentlemen, here we go with the Slacks and Purge cast. Hello. Yeah, it's going to be great. How are you guys doing? Come on. These are, these are classic, right? Yes. So, lane setups are pretty interesting. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, Jackie's going to be going to the safe lane on the top lane. Going to be try to be consistent over there. Uh, Pimp Muckle going with Searing Arrows first. He's going to be a little un unhappy when he realizes that he has to be pretty close range to use that, but it should be all right. When's the last time you cast it, Purge? Uh, yesterday. It's been about 24 hours. Mm. I can't remember. Here we go. And in coming on Undying, looks like, uh, oh, my God, he tagged up as his old handle. Thank you so much. Yeah, That's you great. Just that. <laughs> I just noticed that. Yeah. That's going to be hard for me to cast. Here we go. Zayori and Tacos Tresos in the bottom mm -hmm. lane here. The Dazzle Undying lane. How do you cast an ability draft game? I have uh, no idea what any of these heroes are well, going to do. Basically, we'd have to make assumptions or talk about what you think is really good. But considering you have no idea how any of this works, it's going to be a little harder. Fantastic. Normal, but, um, All right. I, I, I genuinely think Zyori's build is one of the better here. Having Thirst, Omni Slash, Poison Touch, it sort of makes sense. He just needs to build some hybrid stuff. Uh, I think Cinderin's oh, going to go mid against Suns fan. My this could God. be. This is. Oh, I, I expect to see shit talk. This is. Depending on how this goes, I think it's a little dangerous for Cinderin here. He's got to be careful. Because Suns fans build is a little better early. Oh, and Mott's going to give him some pressure, too. All right, here we go. Down here at the mid lane, Suns fan versus Sinran with Mott oh. just kind of standing there okay. on the side. The Syrian Arrows is actually working. Jack just lost the lane. All right, you can count Jack out here. Oh, no. This is all over. 
No, please, it's, Jack. Uh, it does work on range. I thought they changed it. Oh, he's even stealing last sets, dude. Oh, Jack, right. please. Pimp's build is officially good. Pimp so, is destroying him. So this is kind of one of the OP things about ability draft sometimes. <laughs> you had a melee hero who's balanced around having to be in melee range, and you just grab something like Searing Arrows, and all of a sudden, he's a ranged hero with really good stat gain. So, and now Jack is going to have a lot of he's going to have a lot of trouble laning basically. All right. Okay. Well, uh, yeah. Apparently, we are trying to pause here. Yet they have unpaused it and have continued playing something you typically don't see mm. in a pro game. Interesting. Zero respect for one another as they continue to play. Oh, interesting. We might actually see Jack die while we're uh, on camera here. They are playing. Any moment. Okay. There we go. <laughs> there Barely we go. staying alive. So Pimp may soon realize that there's this range for Syrian arrows. If they get out of that range, he's going to always miss. All yeah. right. Zero CS coming out from the middle lane here. As uh, Pimp Uncle was absolutely dominating, you yeah. thought that this would not work. Yeah, I didn't think uh, they must have patched and fixed it recently. But there was a period of time where it was based on your hero's range, not necessarily. This is back to kind of how the OP way used to work, I believe. All right, down here in the bottom lane, tacos, 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 in a little bit of trouble. Trent trying to catch up to him. Right click, number one, number two, uh, but no number three as they move on to oh, that gentleman. Oh, Trent is not tired with first one. Could be a double. Oh, no. Grab the right skills to start the game off, and this looks like he's going to hesitate a little bit, gets poison touch. Oh. He's probably three more hits. Blake not looking too good, but he will walk away there. Uh, big puss out there from Tacos. <laughs> what happened, Tacos? A little bit. He's on cooldown for his abilities. Didn't fight, quite feel comfortable. Oh, I am no Yeah, that's another common ability draft issue is that nobody knows what role they are, so people just forget to grab the, the, the animal courier. And Thanks the best part is Trent just left the base, but nobody probably has money. So okay. actually, oh, Mott could have bought it. But. Thank you, Mott. Great Yet job. again, great job, Bot. Slowly throwing it for the dire team. Great. Right so, uh, yeah, how is... Uh, thank you. Thank you, Suns fan. Oh, he's, he's, he does have zero CS. The incredible part is that uh, Sindrin's approximately 3k MMR higher than him, maybe more, and he's also got Blood Rage, so he gets to buff up his base damage. Oh, wait. Could yeah. be a kill here, potentially. Oh. A nice rotation oh, in. The, the leaps, leap. the spits! Oh, the arrow hits. He's like a frog! Oh. Maybe Leap was the tier one ability, and I guess. And Trent kills himself, but Ooh. oh, a Great nice rotation. taunt right at the end there. Great job there. And Pimp gets in there and actually gets some experience out. He might be able to kill Suns fan. Maybe he's running out of mana, though. Oh, and too an far uphill now. miss. Yeah, That's nope, what you get? He's too far away. It was oh, okay. Nice. Yeah. If he walks too far away, it's not going to work. Although he can buy a Monkey King bar later. Ooh. And that will counteract some of those misses. Keep those... Soundproof headphones on, boys. Yeah. No so. listening here. Tombstone going down in the bottom lane. Nothing really Ooh, tacos uh, happening in trouble from here. that. Tacos in a bit of a problem here as our leaping frog gets ready for potentially another kill. Gonna have to walk back and head up on Zayori. You see a very missed silence there with no intention of hitting anything as Zayori is just manning up. He still could get a kill here. A small mistake in a skill, but I would like to see a max thirst first, but a mix of poison touch and thirst is really going to work out. He's not getting a lot of last hits, probably focusing more on right-clicking heroes, but I, I still think he's going to be a, a big force for the rest of the game. Cinderin just dominating this middle lane yeah. um, with no fear at all. He doesn't care that he died because yeah. Sunspan has absolutely nothing. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Sunspan certainly should have been playing like a roaming position. If he started moving around and showing up with Blade Fury, uh, Infinity. Great. Thank you, Purge. No problem. All right. Down here at the bottom lane, Zayori and uh, our boy Blake still fighting it out here. Tacos, uh, I'm not feeling too much from Tacos, man. I'm getting a little concerned yeah. about your Tacos. He started out real good with his first two picks, and then he grabbed two garbage skills that really don't work out with it. So they're both heals. And he still hasn't gotten Skeleton Walk. What you should be doing is abuse Skeleton Walk to roam effectively. So sometimes you need to be able oh, to play a oh, lot of different oh, play Oh, here styles. comes a great Suns fan gank, and he's going to oh, spin good. on top of him. Will he instantly die to the tower? Nice. No. He will be able Very to pick up a kill. Nice job by Suns fan. Now finding his true place. It's perfect. Much like regular Dota, if you're having a terrible time playing your lane, it's best to leave and just gank somewhere else where they don't expect you to be. And because Suns fan did get some levels, oh, ooh, great heal. Oh, my heal. God. <laughs> oh, this could be a kill. Blake having some big issues here as he makes his way out. But oh, Zyori's coming. He's all right. Zyori trying to catch up. Zyori, change your targets. Come on. Zyori, Zyori come the on. The other guy's way less HP. Okay. Oh, wait. He's got some all major right. right click on that Dazzle. Let's not forget. Oh, man. As the Blowing leaping frog up. makes his way out. Zyori going ham under the oh. tower. Hoopa. Nice pick up here. He could potentially beat Suns fan. Suns fan is completely automatic. Great banish by Zyori to buy himself some time here. Nope. And Suns fan is going to have to head back home most likely. So, yeah. Yep. The Thirst man. Thirst is real good. 
Okay. Sound issues, we need a two-minute pause. This is ability draft. No, just keep going. <laughs> All right. Oh, we're going to go for a kill in the mid lane here. Mock going to get X'd, <laughs> arrowed, and boated here, and that looks like it's going to uh -oh. be the end of him. Mid lane, a nice kill down in the mid and in the top lane. Nothing is happening. Well, at least we caught that. Fantastic. Why do we put our best observer in the game? I'm the not. State? I'm not quite sure. Okay. Well, Who is observing? How's, the how's Jack? How's Jack doing right now? Uh, he's got level five at least. He's actually picked up 25 less sets. He's second on the board here, and Tidebringer is working from range, so it still does a cone based on where he attacks. Oh no! They're actually going to try to fix issues on ability draft show match. This is a real, a real mode, Slex. How dare you? No, it's not. <laughs> it's, it, 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 all right, just because. You don't want to game design how to make a hero. What do you, you make eggs ideas all the time. This is right up your alley. Yeah, and I know they're dumb. This is like if I actually tricked people into putting my ideas into the game. This oh. is worthless. So it's like a troll, troll effort. Yeah. Troll enthusiasm. Mm-hmm. So, okay. I'm paid by Riot to come up with these ideas. <laughs> okay. Try all to right. kill the game slowly. I get it. All right. So uh, what do you think about the game so far? Cinder is just going to dominate it. They had okay, to put yeah. pressure. I don't know why they're not putting pressure on the pro player on the enemy team. They just let him have a free mid. Are, That's are not they going to? But do they have the ways to put pressure on him right now? Who, do they have ganking heroes? Not I really. I would have put four men mid and left okay. one to farm. Well, believe it or not, in, in Dota normally, that means that the other players on the team are going to get free farm, and that's not going to be cares? worth it in the end. And Cinderin's built, he's the best player on the team for sure, but it doesn't mean that his build lets him transition super well. Like, he can get a kill every time he gets Ghost Ship up, probably, but... All right, here we go. Uh-oh, is Nikki AFK? It appears that way. Trent with no mercy, right Double clicking. Damage. And she that's turns dirty. around. Ooh. Anything for the win, I guess. Yeah, that was... Uh, Really showing your colors there, Trent. <laughs> really messed up stuff here. We've got uh -oh. some arcane boots on the top lane, too. That'll, we got a gank down to the bottom lane. Here we go. Blake in some serious trouble. The silence does Ooh. come out, but it ain't enough. And that bat's going down. Meanwhile, in the middle lane, Cinder having some major issues. Sun Fan with the biggest spin of his life. The frog has leaped. Can they finally get a kill on the pro player like they wanted to? Oh, no. This is going to be nothing. Oh, oh my god. They can maybe that? turn this here. Oh, big damage here from Tacos. Woo. Tacos, Tacos, Cinder, and a little greedy there, but he manages to walk out with such a minimal amount of HP. Yeah. So kind of interesting uh, swing of things here. Um, I mean, Klinks is definitely still making stuff happen. This is uh, one of those cases where he has too many good skills to level. He wants all of his skills to be maxed out. I mean, ob obviously, you always do, but if your hero doesn't become really strong, it's better to have the curve kind of hit around by the time you hit level 10. Uh -oh. This isn't going to be quite as strong that early. Incoming Pimp Monkle with his ranged fire attacks that burn people Do you find that balance? Death. That's completely unbalanced. But it's good that he's moving around the map like this because it c makes confusion, basically. In a mode like this where you don't even know how your own hero works, if you have to think about how to play the game correctly, it gets really tough. Uh -oh. oh, Zyra in trouble. Great banish. Going to buy himself some uh, safety here. I'm not sure they're going to be able to do anything with this. The arrow does miss, but they're going to keep going on somebody. Cinder and finding the right coming. target. But Sunspan from the back line trying to make something happen here. Trying to get that Zyori too far under the tower. This is not looking good. Mott is taken out. And it looks like the rest of the team is probably going to get cleaned up here. Silence coming out. Oh, no. Somebody help Sunspan as he tries to TP oh, away. Oh, oh, oh. Not going to happen. And the rest of the team... Uh, walks away with their tails between their legs. They kind of want to get Trent here. It is daytime. They're going to spot him now. Yeah, this is actually really bad for Trent. Very likely he gets arrowed here. Trent. If he can time it. Oh, no. The X marks the spot. Arrow combo looking pretty nasty. As body blocks coming out from Cinderin as well. Trent, level four, going to get chased out. Thinking about okay. the deny. Okay. Good try. Good try. That was Thinking a great didn't, deny. didn't work. Not at all. And Kunkka still looking for setup here. X marks the spot, one of the best abilities for... Guaranteeing ganks and Jack's in the game. Here he comes. Oh, here we go. He's starting to heal him now. So thank you. Okay. That's great. Uh, this is one of the downsides of, of this kind of a build is that it does take items to be effective. And he's not quite there. There's an Omni Slash from Zari. Oh, quite a few this? heroes. <laughs> <laughs> Good attempt. And Taco's looking like he's oh, going to go. Oh, the banish to save him. Zari saving again. Zyori really with these saves, you know? And he does play Dazzle all the time. Yeah. He knows and how to do this stuff. That banish is like a better shallow grave. Ooh. Okay. Jack is hitting hard, though. Gets a crit here, and Nikki yeah, goes down. Jack. Double kill. Good this, pickup. This is what I've been waiting for. Jack, the man, coming back uh -huh. from that top lane. They put the pressure on him, Purge, but this guy's a fighter. He has bought pretty bad items, though. He's a common common misconception. You think, I'm a right clicker, so I'll buy Dragonlance, but this is an anti-hero, so it uh, takes some time for it to become effective. It will increase his range, at least, but 
and give him overall good stats. But it's going to be a bit before Jack starts hitting real scary. But that's that's a big threat for, for the Radiant team, that's for sure. Down here at the bottom lane, Team Slacks getting themselves together, going for a little push here. Jack looks like he's ready to get some blood on his hands, and I can't wait for them to stupidly run into a team fight against him. Here we go. Oh, Tidebringer really coming out there. Zayori taking a massive hit. Blake wants to go in. Use that brain, Blake. You don't dive under that tower, and oh no. They're going to move right on top of him, Burge. Tacos is going to spot things out a little bit here. Going for some kill, maybe. Shannon with the worst, worst boots option he could make with his hero. He literally just needs arcane boots, but he goes for treads instead. Okay. And uh, the, they're trying to initiate here. They have initiate. Yep, they got an axe. Here it comes. What are you doing, Sunspin? <laughs> okay, everybody dies. Well, effortlessly. Uh, oh, we got an X. There's no way he's going to make it out of here. Uh, well, he does, but he's going to come back. Well, there you go. Sunspan leading the charge. Uh, decides to try to lasso someone with 10 HP. Okay. Yeah. And instantly choice. everyone dies. So great job, Sunspan. Is there anyone on my team that's confident? I, I, honestly, Jax is the one to watch here. If he gets pretty farmed, maybe makes some better item decisions. You could see him, maybe a Daedalus, he could start one-shotting whole teams from range. And he's got built-in crit naturally. That's the crazy thing. He doesn't even need a Daedalus, actually. He just needs raw damage, and it's a 35% chance. Wow. Oh, boy. That, that is crazy, Purge. Are you, are you, do you have you, okay, you don't play Chorus. So you've probably never gone, like, Ags Kunko, but it's, or uh, Daedalus Kunko, but it's, it's a huge threat. You can get lucky and just kill everybody, and especially in Ability Draft, where people aren't necessarily building ideal, they might not be tanky enough to survive it. Wow. We... Cool. <laughs> <laughs> really glad you're here. <laughs> really selling ability draft to the viewers. All right, down here, it looks like everything's nice and steady down in the bottom lane. Sinoran going to be rotating out. Doesn't even need any help. What? There might be going on Zayori here. Yeah, here we go with a very long distance route and yep. then an awkward walk. Yeah, it's very common attack. ability draft thing here when there's not enough stuns. Come back. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a normal move. So this is uh, where you can really see the pitfalls of not being uh, extremely good at Dodo, I guess, because you have to make these ganks happen that are difficult and right. very abnormal. Zayori wildly out of position here with four players in front of yeah. him, completely alone. Will they be able to finally get their first okay. kill? He's dodged approximately six abilities. Kills someone else. Okay, he's gonna go down this time. All but. right, well, the four-man gank on okay. a wildly out of position Dazzle is a success as they try to move on for more. He, he really did dodge a lot of those. I was hoping there would be a Ravage there as well, but he's holding that for the good moments. Yeah, that was uh, quite worth. As Cinderin takes only a tower. That's it, just the mid tower. No big deal by himself. Got and the last hit. they get the top tower hey. as well. And he's got a Veil, and he's about to finish his deck. All right, hold his build. Great. So what's great about my team is that uh, they lost yeah. everything for literally nothing. Oh, that's not true. They killed Zayori. That's that going to limit Zayori's ability to carry this game. That is nothing. Yeah, you're not, you're not there. Oh, he's got uh, a 75 damage perk at 10. I'm sure you'll really enjoy that one. <laughs> no, that's a, that's a huge deal. What you're he's he's got a carry build. He's going to get 75 more damage at 10. That's where you really, that's, that's where you push uh, Ability Draft to the limit, dude. Take those supports that have decent stat gains, turn them into a carry, and be a fight. And uh, with that tower gone, the entire team will now die. So, uh, bottom tower, oh, wow, that was actually a pretty good core. And oh, there's good a rabbit. Ravage right on top of the entire team, trying to move it around. Pitbuckle, false promise, and being healed up now. Stand in Moth. Getting absolutely decimated. Pimp Uncle probably. He's fine, dude. Gonna be yeah. okay. Yeah, healing ward that whole time. Oh, there, no. Getting healed up. And yes, the uh, the fight for the bottom tier one tower. It's successful tower, and almost everyone dies. Yeah, and a big ravage. They they basically need their their hard hitters to be around to uh, to put out enough damage. But that's pretty much just Jack and Suns fan from the looks of the uh, the, the skills that have been grabbed here. Yeah, that's the typical Moon Duck way. Just Jack and Suns. Okay, yeah. All right. And Trent maxing out Gush here. I think he's making a mistake. Probably need to go Anchor Smash. Try to play more of a conventional Tide rather than a support. Because his build does not scale very well with Moonlight Shadow, but making a mistake, they're not realizing the error of his ways. So Quite a defense here on the Tier 1 tower <laughs> as um, they don't even attempt to show yeah. in lane. Oh, I like Sun's fans move here. In the meantime, split pushing mid, kills the creep wave. That means the mid tower will be pressured. And oh! Oh no! <laughs> well, uh... Trent is absolutely decimated. Oh, the first question mark. And here comes a defenseless tier two tower now. Oh, yeah. As they stand in the back for their tier three, only 6k net worth behind, and more than uh, half of the Nikki with the shit talk. <laughs> All right. I mean, her build is better than your guys' build, so. I mean, yeah. She's 
Oh, then she's going to be picking up an egg. She's going to be very rudely awakened when she realizes this doesn't do anything for her. Really? One of, the, one of the fun things about playing Ability Draft, if she doesn't have Lightning Bolt, then her Nimbus won't shoot Lightning Bolts, I uh, think is how it works. We'll see about that. We'll see. Sometimes we'll see you got you to gotta make a mistake to really get how Ability Draft works. I really hope that's the case, that we see just a Nimbus appear with I, zero yeah, Lightning Bolts. I'm not sure it'll even spawn. I don't even know if she'll get the Icon. She okay. may need both, so... Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna hurt a little bit here. Meanwhile, in the top lane, Mr. Barbecue going in. Oh no! False promise is out, which means that all that damage is gonna be. Wait, did, do they have a heal for him? Oh yeah, Taco's had two. I don't know if he used him before. It looks like a little bit after. Oh, the rupture on Jack though. This is bad for him. Oh yeah, that's another insta kill. Dagon coming out yep. there. Uh, Cinder, thanks a lot for uh, having fun this game. I can tell oh, that you're yes. really. Not trying as hard as you could. This is, this is a good example of being better than your opponent in the lane. Therefore, you get more farm. And his build makes some sense. And he's itemizing around it correctly to make it even better. And You're missing like three of those steps on your team. Yeah, I'm missing a competent player. Step number zero. Is that, is that the issue? Yeah, that would yeah. be the oh, issue. Oh, can Trent hear? Trent, right. can you affirmative that you can hear him? Trent, don't do that. <laughs> here we go. Is he cheating? Is this Pushing up on the top lane here. Uh, we'll see Dyer's if my team can tower. mount any He's sort of defense. Yeah. So what your team's really missing right now is damage. Um, so, for example, Max Tomb is kind of important, maybe over Kraken Shell. Uh, basically, any, any damage you can get is really important. It's a very easy trap to fall in an ability draft because you don't realize that most heroes are designed extremely well and therefore have some solutions that Dyer's you always have. Tower. But not this game. Not when you get to pick the abilities. All right, a ferocious battle here at the top tower as uh, Purge Gamers and his boys take this tower. Surprisingly, will they be able to get it? Looking pretty low. The creeps are coming in, and here he goes, right clicking on Nikki. Incredible. And the tower dies, and so does all the creeps. Great. That's a, that's a fair, fair point. I mean, it's, it's kind of important. Meanwhile, the, in the middle lane, all five of the teammates are standing, walking in yeah. circles. It's a very common symptom that happens when players do not know what to do. In reality, what they should be doing is maybe five minutes smoke ganking. So anything would How help. How about an anything? Could you throw me an anything? It could be uh, smoking to go somewhere else. It could be split pushing. If they show up, you leave and go split push somewhere else. That, those are all really good options. Oh, there's a blink on clinks. This is pretty okay. big, actually. Because it's very likely they can do a blink lasso with Blade Fury and follow up some lightning bolts and get a kill. Now, very likely. It is rare that you see no one defending the racks from creeps attacking. Uh -huh. it. There it goes. Okay, they're actually going to go for that racks. Here we go with a great rotation oh, from the team yeah. in the bottom lane. So the, the negatives about this is they should have done this about a minute and a half ago. They um, should have done this at and all. They probably should have used a smoke to do so. Um, they did not get spotted. But if you are slow doing this or you get spotted on the way, Wait then it kind of gets wasted. This is why most people oh. are scared to gank, because they feel like it never works. That's because they're bad at ganking. So just got to fix the learning how to gank part, and then it's very, very effective. Yes. All right, Cinderin in the top lane completely oh. alone. This would be the time to pick him off and get that turnaround. Oh, they're going through. But they're actually going to go mid for Tacos, Tacos, Tacos. The invisibility is out. Oh, they could go right now. This, Blake, is, this is an option. Walking you around. Here we this. go. There is the lasso and the spinny and, spin, okay. and there he goes. Oh, they bolted for vision. They've got some vision here. They can chase him for a bit longer, but now it's, it's too late. And there he goes. They had to do the ravage immediately after the last one. I did. That was the only way they get that kill. Here comes Cinderin, though. And uh, everybody dies now. There okay, we go. Like Sun's fan in some major trouble. Wait a minute. He did. Oh, no. There we go. Okay. Well. Ooh, Zara coming in. Gets the Omni Slash. He's got his Deso picked up. So a lot of damage now on the Radiant side. It's hard to cast when you get rest. Oh, is that, is that, uh, ooh, big cleave. But unfortunately, Jack picked up terrible items. And therefore, his... Things are not going to work out so great. And I, where did they? Where did they go, man? What happened? Twenty-three to seven, oh. Purge. Oh, as my team of warriors are only mm -hmm. twelve k behind. Uh, somehow, the only professional player oh, okay. on both teams is winning. Oh, I think Cinderin is uh, taking a moment here to go buy his items. Yes, I'm pretty sure. He's trying to happening. get some last hits so he can heal up. Oh, okay. It's very important here. Yeah. Definitely. All right, great. Suns fan, uh, with the old walk towards him and then immediately run away, and then nothing. Oh, farming creeps once again, center, and just wow. constantly keeping his HP up. Just really incredible moves here. Great boat there as the uh, sure. gush comes out to a ranged creep. So who are you most impressed by on your team so far in this game, do you think? Oh, you know, I, I'm impressed for a lot of the wrong reasons. Can I say I'm, I'm surprised? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm impressed uh -huh. that Sunspan had four last hits for the first 
mm. 15 minutes of the game. I mean, I actually, it's completely reasonable for, for him to be in that situation with the, the matchups he had and stuff like that. He basically, he should have probably just walked in the creep wave and cast Blade of Fury and then gone back to Fountain and done it again or something. That would have been pretty hype. But there's just a lot of item mistakes, uh, skill build orders, a lot of things that uh, take a lot of thought. We take it for granted because you just know what skills you're supposed to grab when you play a normal Dota game, but... Like, Muff, for example, should be maxing Torrent, probably. That way he could A, we push waves from safety and increase the uh, slow duration in team fights. But instead, now he's maxing Fortune's End. Little relative benefit with each additional skill point. There's a lot of stuff like that that you have to, you have to make those new decisions every ability draft game because you're in a situation you haven't been in before. So mm -hmm. it makes this so fun. If you're into that. Like, just like you are, right? Yeah, I'm totally yeah. Making great skill build decisions. Ability draft, skill build, and item choices. Yeah. It's what I live for. Yeah, yeah. Definitely not the, the psychology. No. Every night I sit in bed and looking at the Dota 2 items just uh -huh. dreaming about sick combos. Yeah, I believe Oh, it. here we go. Sorry. Initiation on Zayori. Could it be possible we got a kill oh, here? Yeah, big kill. Zayori, oh, Omni Slash is kidding oh, me. No oh, way. Okay. no way. No way. No, just give me one. Okay, BKB coming out from Jack. Jack gonna try to right click somebody here. Oh, the Ravage rabbit. is committed. Could we finally see a kill? Pimp Uncle going in, and they're actually just gonna. He might come get on. this one. He's oh, okay. yes! Hooray! All right, only we another X. This is Dota two. Okay, if Jack is Jack can actually walk away. He's good. All right, the zombies are chasing. There's too many. Yes, they're certainly oh, gonna. Oh, oh my! Oh, oh, this is not bad. Cinderin going in. Oh, he's Tacos. got him. Yes, Jack. The only hero I have, go Jack. He's level 16. He's above Cinderin now with these kills. Oh, wow. Could it be the ultimate strategy, letting the team get so far ahead that any kill instantly makes you level 25? I mean, this is basically perfect for Jack now. The fact that he was the one that cleaned up everybody and most of your teammates had selectively, probably on purpose, died before that moment means that he does get a stupid amount of experience from it. Jack and was I wasn't stupid. super confident in the BKB purchase, but it definitely worked out there. And it's going to allow him to finally Radiant transition to items that make sense. Okay, Cinderin looking a little scared now as he walks back. Jack is getting that right click in. He's got the fully maxed out Tidebringer, and we hit yep. up with the WTFs now. Oh, yep. hold on. Did she, she do finally, the X? She's finally realized, yes, that Let's it does not work. Let's take a look at right? it. It's always great to take these moments in. It's a, it's a first and time learning experience. <laughs> this, is, this is where you're like, do I sell it? <laughs> it does not. You need a bolt. Admins, pause the game, admins. <laughs> yeah, Nikki with, uh, well, she does get that nice space next That's to. That's true. It makes her icons a little smaller, <laughs> if you're into that. That's hype. Bounty. I have both. So, curiously, if you want to <laughs> fun. fun <laughs> Sorry, Nikki. If you want a fun fact for Ability Draft, uh, Lucent Beam and Eclipse used to work like that, that if anybody in the game had Lucent Beam, your Eclipse would still function. Oh. But I believe they recently removed Eclipse, probably because somebody Double thought it was unfair. But I thought that was a cool interaction. Oh, okay. But it does not work anymore. They removed it. There is hope, as uh, people are buying unaffected eggs on yeah. your team. Yeah. And uh, Jack is the sole player on mine. So yeah. we will see how this turns out. Pimmelco with the double damage, that's pretty scary. Making sure to hide in the jungle. Uh, team killing one creep camp, so good job there, as they potentially lose their bottom tower. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think if Nikki could redo her skill build, she should have maxed Arc Lightning, gotten maybe an Arcane Boots, and then uh, max Essence or a second, and just kind of spam waves. It's very important that you have a way to collect uh, gold. So even if there aren't ganks happening, uh, that way you can still get something done. You can push lanes, you can farm jungle camps, because ultimately that will give you more gold. Than Wait that. a minute. Yeah. Is Nikki the first female Dota player to play at a Valve sponsored event? Um, I don't know. Okay. I have to do some research. That's a hard question. Great conversation. Yeah, no problem. I mean, you kind of asked me, Sean the Dark, like, hey, do you happen to know this random tiny fact? <laughs> Cinderin actually in a bad spot here. If he gets lasso, this is really bad for my team. Oh, could be. Cinderin getting some trouble. Look oh, at that the damage coming out. We got the rabbits. We got the boat. And we have oh, the spins safe. there. Nice save there with the false promise. And here we go. The day got coming out. Cinderin so managing to get kills here as he walks away. But has he been healed enough? Oh, They're going man. all in. He's got full HP as he turns around. Zayori with a fantastic Omni managing to clean up Trent. The Frogman himself trying to get some kind of kill and oh nothing. Oh, my God. A full team wipe. Him saving everybody in that fight. The false promise to buy time oh. there. And then a follow-up grave. Big saves. I mean, it was a pretty good initiation for the Dire team. If Cinderin was oh. able to grab the Cinderin where he was initially, it would have been even better for them. But it's so tough playing against things like Grave and False Promise. They can just completely ensure that teamfights stay one-sided. Dark Moon. 
I don't, I don't know if Jack has yet realized that his item does not really work very well with Tidebringer. It increases his damage, but the minus armor doesn't make him bleed harder. So he's made another bad item decision that's definitely hurting you guys in the long run. I mean, it'll work out. Jack's, uh, we'll see. Jack's got this. Uh, we're going to go for a Roshan as they definitely need a second life before they push uphill. They could lose an all purge in a uh, horrific could. turnaround. Yeah. I mean, that, that fight was very close there. Could have gone back and the other way. Okay. The Good choice there. Thank the, you, Cinderin. Uh, yeah. yeah. That's okay. It's at least something going for you. Thank you, Cinderin. That Cinderin is intentionally destroying Aegis. <laughs> so, so. I always look forward for more of that. All right. Well, uh, the team is uh, once again in the middle lane walking in circles as they uh, attempt to figure out what to do here. We could see a nice, easy pick on the Trent as he is. Oh! A oh, that was a lot of damage. The bullet. He's got another X in one second. If he can get the X off, he can torrent as well. Run, Froggy, run! I think he's going to be okay. He's got phase. And never mind, oh, Zyra's no, here. Zyra's waiting. He's letting it sink in. Oh, oh no. Poor Zyori. Meanwhile, down here, a little bit of an attack here on Nikki, taken out very effortlessly, but they have huh. uh, yeah. The That's HP good. did not make the difference, unfortunately. Bitmunkle going to be moving in here, taking some hits, running away. Goodbye. Could they potentially find people one at a time? Could this be oh, the this dream is, this scenario? this is what you guys need here. This is it. Here we go. He cannot keep himself alive. He actually needs allies to heal him, so he's certainly going to go down here. Big oh, arrow. My God. But this is not bad for you guys. Uh, okay, Grave is going to buy him time. All right, so that's OP. Yeah, BKB yeah, okay. popped up, though. BKB, Mr. Godric Q, taking the right hit. He he's die? trying to take Pep. Oh, no. my God, he's alive. Okay, so you can Grave to save through four False Promise. That's insane. He's yeah. actually still alive. That's okay. that's actually ridiculous. Rocking that one HP, he got boated, False Promised, and Graved. So. Yeah, that helped a lot for sure. Yes. Uh, wow. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, so that... You, you guys are taking pretty good fights lately. I, I would definitely agree with that, but having, no one said uh, that. having some issues. You just made up something kills. that was wrong. No, that was a good fight. The issue is it. that he has both False Promise and Graves, so he's buying his team 14 seconds to get there, which is actually capable. That's exactly how much they need to get there in time. Purge, when's the last time you've seen a 20k lead? Hmm? Uh, yesterday, probably. <laughs> it, it happens. Ouchie. Blade Fury sucks. It does not suck, actually. Blade Fury is very good. Hmm. It is not bad. It's actually uh, wait, Blade Fury. The spin Blade Fury is not bad at all. It's very high damage uh, for uh, for the skill point. It just should have been Sun's fan moving around getting kills. Mott should have done something like Fortune's End in a torrent to win his lane, guaranteed torrent lands. There's a lot of things like that that could have made the laning stage go a little bit better for everybody. All right. Well, here we go. A little bit of a uh, initiation here as we're seeing Mott and Suns fan going to be jumped on by Tacos, Tacos, Tacos. Scouting them out. Ooh, Mott looking a little spooked out here. Tacos, could he pull in for something? He wants to block him first. Eh? Oh, uh, okay. He can't get a kill by himself. He has to wait to set up for somebody else. And Cinderin's coming. This is where it starts. I mean, Cinderin doesn't even need anyone to help him kill someone. He literally just walks up and insta kills people. Oh, more talking about Suns fan, I suppose. Okay. Well, Suns fan now ruptured as he's about to get voted Probably. and uh, Superman. Oh, he's still oh. alive. Oh, oh. Okay, Tacos is going to clean that you, one up. Tacos. All right. Yeah, I like Taco's build as well. I'm um, going for uh, support items to help make up for the fact that his skills sort of suck, but not fully suck, just a little bit. Tombstone on death. Yeah, that's, that's the big good. question that we're having here today. Will it spawn, Mr. Purge? Yeah, well, 100%. If you, as long as you have. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it doesn't. He doesn't have it. Okay. Well, that it's, 100% uh, really. Yeah, he's a got a lot way. of. He's got a lot of very undying specific talents. Although he's got that undying rig. Oh, I'm sorry. We got some dying here. Oh, Pimp's actually not going to get his ability wow. off in time. Look at that. Pim Munkle finally taken out there. As the, uh, the Bloodlust really did hit him. Mid tower that, will that, be traded. That means my team is still only 20k gold ahead oh with no. that kill. It was a big difference maker. And Cinderin casually walks up to someone and insta kills them. Yeah, that's, uh, that's what happens when you go Veil, well. Kaya, Dagon 5. <laughs> <laughs> so this is, this is that point of the game where uh, first time ability draft gamers are probably going to say something like, ability draft sucks. No. And. Uh, this is most likely why there was that brief nice terrible solo moment smoke there by where, Trent. where it became uh, turbo. But um, you know, I'm sure Ma will have more fun the next game. Okay, here we go. The biggest gank in. Okay. Great job, Trent. Was... Only nine minutes till another one of those already. You know, I encourage him because it was. He knows that they need to smoke. He just didn't do it you, with you his team. You encourage that move. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, Purge approved. You know, it's better than 
standing in the base. But they're all alive now. This is the time to take a fight. Uh, Sunspan needs to grab somebody, actually. Yeah, he's going to grab him, then spin. That will be... No, he can last one, pull them up to the high ground. He doesn't have a four step. Oh, here we go. Blinking out. He's going to be able to stun with the lightning bolt. Banished away, though, as the rest of the team... Oh, okay. Oh, man. Again? Same guy. Hey, Moss. Usually you want to spread those out, kill somebody else that they don't feel like quitting as bad. <laughs> we got a last of spin here. <laughs> this could be Zyra dying. Oh my god, Tacos, Tacos is going to be TPing out. Ooh, oh yeah. wait, he's actually picked off. Zyori oh, trying to oh. turn around. Wow. Oh, he's going to be bringing that one up in Woo. meetings for a long time. That is going to be... That time. Remember that time when I soloed you after you lasso spinned me? The yeah. ultimate move? Yep. yep. Okay. <laughs> Gonna be a tough one there for Sunspin. <laughs> oh no. Oh. <laughs> Too Poor real. Poor All Mott. right, Mott has got to do something. Aether he needs lens, to get perhaps, HP and, and uh, magic resistance. Yeah. It's definitely the big He's actually here. gonna go for the Force Staff, which will do nothing. Yes, he, he literally just needs like a Glimmer Cape and a Magic Wand. And uh, maybe I don't braces. think Magic Wand helps you when you instantly die, person. Oh, it's two strength. It's a whole 40, Ooh, whole 40 HP. Oh. Also, he's an int hero, so the more int he gets, the more magic resistance as well. But Cinderin's basically waiting, waiting to murder Mott. If Mott, should, if Mott leaves the base, Mott, don't leave the base. You'll die. Yeah, run, Mott. Don't show on the map ever again. The fountain is safe. I promise. That's just throw your skills. <laughs> <laughs> pimp, pimp transitioning into a carry here from his uh, false promise grave. It, basically, you can do this when you're winning. It doesn't really matter what skills you have. Okay. Helps he's a Bloodseeker, though. And here we go. Pimbuckle. Could he get that Bloodlust yet again? Diving in the uphill, doing absolutely nothing. We'll find out here soon. Oh, he just needs to grab somebody. Something has to happen here as I they spit some goop. I think uh, Sunspan's on the right path with his, with his item build, but I do think he needs to go for staff. It'll help his team get free kills, and that would be the way they can turtle. If they just start getting kills, you guys can oh, definitely tacos, win. There it is. Oh, Tacos, Tacos, stepped up on the uphill, trying to heal what himself a, up, and oh, they oh, actually perfect. get him. There's oh. a dig on a mont. Poor oh, the Mott rabbit! Rabbit, though. Oh, gets him! Oh my god, we can finally okay. see something here. Cinderin trying to turn it around. The Dagon is on cooldown as the boat misses everything. Could they get a pick off? If they get anybody else, that's a huge, and they're actually just gonna slowly walk back up. That uphill. was a big swing. That's 4,300 gold swing for your team. The entire Except attack. Except for Mott. Mott only got 23. That's right. It was all a trap to get Mott. But that's still 23 gold that Mott did not have a moment ago. That's so. great. <laughs> It is not bad. Great force by Trent to start off that. He's basically doing the job that Suns fan is not adequately doing. Yes. And it made a big play. Starts the fight in a good way, especially when it's a team fighter like Undyne. There was no rupture in that fight. He was just out of position. No mech, basically, just dead instantly. Okay. That's true. Jack is not wrong here. Let's see if Jack is making a good item decision. He's finally finished his hurricane oh, fight. Oh, nice leap away. Oh. He's got one more. This is not going to work out, I don't think. Wait, leap! Oh! oh! I told you that oh. last leap! Run for your life, Frogman! He Trent, does... Use your phase boots, Trent. Later. Nice job. Nikki trying to go for the cleanup, grabs the invisible rune. Okay. And starts to walk around. Throw your Nimbus out, Nikki. <laughs> All right. She's uh, opting for the Octarine core next. Oh, and there they go. They, they just can't let Trent get away here. Oh, he's he's going to animation though. cancel. No, no, that was his Ravage animation. Oh, they bought the dust, though. Okay. They're but they turn it around here. Mott oh, trying to get Nikki's some right clicks in. Sunspan moving in. Nikki in a little bit of trouble. Tacos, tacos, tacos. Trying to keep her alive okay. here. She is walking completely out of position as KBBQ comes oh, in for the cleanup. Right, right, right. Oh. Click him down. Thank okay. you, Barbecue. That's a lot of gold going to the Dire Team. Only 14k gold advantage now. That's another swing of 2k here. Could it be that 20k gold lead is now only a 14? But when does Mott die? Here we go. Oh, big Omni Slash from Zyuri, though. Mott's getting low. Oh, okay. Cinderin with the Dagon. They do have that problem of Cinderin. Now they have to run for their lives. If anyone is caught out, you just leave them behind oh. in this. Oh, my God. Zyuri's hitting real hard now. He's got a movement speed perk as well at 50. Good they pick up there. They are diving. If something goes wrong here with all of my team's buybacks, look out. They have a lot of them. Buybacks coming. Almost nobody has. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Shut up. I get you. This is it. Ah, very wise. Trent here, trying to defend the high ground. 50 movement speed now on, on the Dazzle. He's really become a tour de force of pain as he runs up and down. Mott purchased a cloak. Mott purchased a cloak. The hypest moment of Mott's match. Good for him. <laughs> he does. <laughs> oh, no. He needs a cloak and like a vid booster at least, but uh, he'll get there. Maybe, I don't know, maybe not. No, Trent microphone. Listen, okay. you don't need it. 
You're fine. You got pings. Everybody knows that's enough. It's for the best. Is he's, that he's why upset. he solo smoked? Okay, he's it's, it's, it's like he pinged enough times and nobody came, so he's like, fine, I'm using it. Something is happening here that will not be said. Well, there's, there's pretty good levels on your team. With those last couple fights, everybody's pretty much maxed out on skills. That'll make a big difference in the next ensuing fight, except for Mont, because he's still going to die instantly. But, um, uh, uh oh, Pimunkle looking for somebody here. Trent in a pickle. Can he find his way out? Oh, the biggest sure. jukes in the world as he stands completely still. And uh, yeah, he's, he's now Goes avoided. Invisible. Okay, he's here gonna... come the stacks. All right. Interesting strategy. Just wait him out, basically. Somehow that worked. So oh, that's, great. Yeah. Wow! I what? And oh, the courier current. dies. Oh, this is not good for the rating team. Okay. Taco's gonna die probably. Here we go. Taco's taken out while Cinderin's on his vacation. <laughs> as Mr. Blake is gonna be taken out as well. They're moving in here. Dazzle, the fastest creature in history, and Mott is gone. Kunkka in the base, doing some just questionable things, trying to find Trent. Trent. Okay. Why? Jack is getting pretty farmed. He's got his Lincoln's finish, and he's finally making a good item decision with his Daedalus. Sayori the Beast Could diving be in. Oh, oh there my it is. god, you came in the wrong neighborhood, son! BBQ bringing it out, and he goes up on, but the cloak! The cloak! Oh. Oh, this is so good for Jack. Yeah, that's a double kill. Okay. And Cinderin, if he gets Cinderin as oh, well, this is insane. Oh, they get Cinderin. This is something. There's Cinderin trying to walk out of his way here. BBQ bringing the fire! Bringing okay. the barbecue! Oh, it, man. yes! Took a lot of right clicks, but this is a tanky OD. He's got 4K HP. It is pretty insane. And <laughs> because he actually went for a carry build, those usually are going to work Woo! a lot better as the game continues. Look at that damage. Yeah, it could have been like this at 15 minutes if he built the right items. It's, it's incredible. Okay, did Sunspan actually build next? Uh, he, he really did, yeah. It actually uh, it will work, though. Yeah, he also wasn't getting a Nimbus. You have to have both. I don't know if that was made clear or not. I, I thought that was obvious, but... Uh, he does get the benefit of the Flaming Lasso, which is still very good. I mean, he's increased his, his magic damage by 400 in a game for the cost of 4,000 gold. That's all. Wow. That's all. Okay, well, you could know have been that a could have been Ricky a and Sunspan were really made for each other. Yeah, they, both buy a Nim uh, Ags to get a Nimbus, yeah. and both fail miserably. Yeah, they, they really did. Tacos! Uh, in the middle of nowhere, checking out that Roche and BBQ trying to get that Roche on very quickly. He's got that major damage, but it ain't doing too much on Roche. Here we go. Tacos has fully scouted it out. The tombstone is out. The leap has been committed, and they are just seeing completely. They see him. They see him. Tacos! They see him! One more right click on them to take him out. And there we go for Taco out of there. The courier. Uh, oh, that's a big kill now. That's uh, Their team fight's down for a bit. Uh, Kunkka's dead for five more. They can go and defend this. It looks like the dire team's gonna be a little jumpy. Probably Mott, knowing what's coming. Yep, Mott is oh. terrified. He I knows love his that. Item build. <laughs> what is his See what's item coming? Build? What's that? It's an you know, Yes. That's exactly for well, Mott. Actually, it's not gonna work because he's gonna die in one shot anyways. So, uh, <laughs> it could. It's a good idea. No, no, the cloak. He survived with like two HP. Okay. Last all right. time. All right. When Cinderin comes and hits that Aeon disc, his life will be changed forever. It could be. Yeah. All right. All right, here we go. Invisible going in there. They were spotted out, though, as they did do that on top of a ward. Yeah, they Completely. Yep. And uh, the on turnaround the will be coming. Pimp Uncle getting a little too close for cover here. He is going to be slow. The grave will come out, and they'll have to move targets while he is graved up there. Here we go. Trent trying to find another target. There's the spin, but Cinderin. Oh, oh the cloak. No. no. He was so close. Oh, big army slash on Trent, though, the leaping. <laughs> A leap away from the team. What a hero as they move on to Cinder and their main target. Okay. Not going to be able to catch it oh. as uh, Blake has trapped himself onto a cliff. Uh, the rest of the team begins to fight here. Barbecue bringing the fire and Whoa. Barbecue managing to get some work done here. Surviving Cinder in the assault. Pimp Uncle, will he make it out of this grave? Yes. He'll do fine on oh, that. Healing Ward still on the ground. That's like a full duration healing ward. Big mistake for your team. They got to nail that yep. because it's going to ensure that any false promise keeps somebody alive. Jack has to make it out here. Sunspan has got to buy him something. He's going to have to kill himself to make sure that the King <laughs> Jack the only lives. Is the regen and coming Jack. For, uh, for Jack, though? He can still fight this, maybe. It's pretty dangerous, but. Go straight on Nikki from the back lines, right? What a freaking turnaround there as the boat comes in, but he's taking so much damage. They have no heal. And Jack is going to be brought down. Suns fan refusing to kill himself for his king as he runs away. Cinder now diving after Suns fan, and it's Mott. Can Mott take the bullet for Suns fan and save his life? It's they want him. They see him in the fountain, and Suns oh, walking away. Wow.
the confusion of having Mott on the field where everyone wants to kill him saves it, it Sucks fans' life. It definitely threw Cinder and off here because if he was focused on you know, winning the game or something, it would have been completely different, different reaction. Blake with a buyback. Are they actually going to try to push this one here? Suns fan going in with the su nothing and uh, Blake with the nothing. Okay. Uh, Bat does have a tomb ready to go. Another X going to delay things a bit, but just nothing. Yeah, it's going right. to be an escape. Buybacks from both teams, though. I mean, uh, Clinks or, or sorry, uh, Bloodseeker died instantly at the beginning of the last fight. Bought back right away. Got back in there. Ultimately, two buybacks. Okay. From the dire team, so the a little team bit more costly. Remembers what got us into this horrible position where we almost lost the game. Ah, what's yes. What's the answer? L Roshan. Let's go back okay. and do yep. that again. No, they're um, not the best Roche team, but it's it's pretty good. They they're will not kill the it best in. anything team. Okay, yeah, I can, I can see that. Oh, here we go. A pick on oh. center and Sunspan catches him out. There we go with the lasso. Oh, can we finally die. do it? <gasps> yeah, yes! Big Sunspan going for that pick up on Cinder. And here we go with Zayori moving in on the Omni Slash. Oh, he's real Mott fast. Not looking too good. They get Mott, which means the rest of the team is able to be killed. Oh no! Oh, Barbecue trying to clean up. He's got the health. He's got the damage. And Sunspan's got the spins. The BKB not going to be enough though. Barbecue Good getting save. a little scared and a four step. Up He's got to get his ulti off. I think get some Woo. heal, get some HP up. Uh, you right. need a your bat rider, bro. Buy a four step. Here we go. Zayori going for barbecue. He eats a creep, and that is the fastest dazzle I have ever seen. Don't help. What? <laughs> what are you doing? Don't tell teams what to uh, buy. You don't. Okay. Okay. Okay, well, it's, he's not going to listen to me anyways. Well, it's the right move. He's only got flaming lasso. All right. Looks like the Roshan is going to fight here. Could he get a kill? Roshan. <laughs> certainly possible here. Yeah, the I, heals are coming out. I mean, the real carry on the on the rating team is definitely Zayori, though. Um, he, he was pretty much untouched in that fight. And so. the Packers are not left. Oh, as damn. the Aegis is, is picked takes? up by Pimp Uncle, okay, who so doesn't even know what a Packer is. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> Too many EU players on the on the Radiant team. Oh, oh that's no. actually very not true. That's that's not even funny. That's it. <laughs> Dank twenty five talents on Dazzle. He's not wrong. He cannot Please. use either. That's, <laughs> it's not. It's it's unfortunate when that happens for sure. But if it's only one talent, it's it's manageable. What is the best level twenty five talent in this game? Uh, I mean, uh, heroes that have neutral ones that aren't based on your oh. uh, your perks are good. You got to take some. You got to take some hero that sucks. In the normal mode, and oh, then they no. have OP talents. So, like Broodmother, for example, has <laughs> like 25% cooldown reduction and 70 attack speed, and oh, no. like he's got a Brood has a lot of really good ones. The for fleet, example. the fleet, it was the oh, correct answer. It? He will get the fleet. He has the ult oh, yeah, just for that purpose. Yep, most likely. All right. I don't off. know if he can keep oh. them there. I guess the X is kind of the point, though. Mm -hmm. Cluck, cluck. Oh, they're going to put the courier in the Roche pit. Oh, here we go. Midas mode returns. <laughs> All right. I keep expecting people to type things like, we're smoking, don't you? No. No. Oh, Zayori out of position there. He won't be able oh, to save himself good. for a little bit. Will anyone come to his rescue? Uh, much like real life, Zayori, uh, nobody <laughs> cares. <laughs> he did still buy the four staff on Klinks here, so we'll yeah. be able to uh, grab somebody easier with Lasso and secure kills for his team. That's really what's important, right? If you're losing, getting kills is the yeah. best way to get back in can the we, game. Can we talk about the warding of uh, Team Dire? Sure. Uh, can we go ahead and take a look at those? Uh, do you like the two that are right next to each other? Is yeah, that what you are those are on? truly fascinating yeah. wards right here. They're placed almost um, identically, basically at the same time. Wow. Different wards, same place. That's a lot of vision. Yes. They can definitely see that turtle yeah. to and the right. These are these are Roche wards, essentially, both, both the other side as well. So that's literally the only thing they seem to care about. Yep. My team taking my advice, not have any war. Oh, they do have two defensive wards. Okay. So. Wasted gold, right? Yeah, wasted gold. 15% life steal. That's pretty good on Jack. He's become quite the tanky boy. That's a uh, spell life steal, so it's literally worthless for okay. him unless he gets a, a, a mouse drum or something. And finally, Jack buying the item. He's needed to buy the whole game. It's coming. Oh. No. And that is where things get changed big time. <laughs> oh, no. It's going to get a two times crit pretty likely. All right, here we go. Uh, what will probably be a pretty nasty fight as a rupture comes out on Mott. Mott is able to walk away, so the entirety of your team leaves with the failed attempt to kill Mott. And a Ravage committed for Nikki. They're going to spin right on top of her, trying to take her out. And Jack actually starts farming creeps. Meanwhile, Trent leaps up, leaps down, and jukes the shit out of those fools. Oh, they, they, they do see him, though. Go, 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 got him. They're following up. Will he be able to escape? Oh! oh! 
Oh! Oh no! They know. All Maybe right, they don't trouble. know. He's got a force skinny time, but no two oh! of them. Oh, it worked! Dread packs the god! Making his way away! Uh, oh, Lotus Orb, though. What if did things reflect happen? something cool? That was neat. I think it was Blood Rage, though, it was not even. Okay. Yeah. Pretty cool reflect. What a cool reflect. This is where you type space created for where sure. Is Definitely Mott? the time. The hunt for Mott continues. <laughs> there he is. Found him. As every eligible lady <laughs> at safe. the bar crawl yesterday was asking, where is Mott? No. No, they didn't. <laughs> All right, Suns fan now showing himself in the middle lane for no reason. He's going to walk back and forth and blink and walk away. Sweet jukes. They do have a dead hero now with uh, Trent being down, so they have a small opportunity to force a 4, almost 5v4. Yep, Iron Branch in the inventory of Suns fan still. Interesting. Good play there. He may need it for a 50 minute magic wand purchase. You it never could know. Happen. And it looks like their team is trying to rely on uh, Lotus Orbs to win this game. I mean, Cinderin could kill himself. That would be fantastic. <laughs> oh no, Cinderin going in! He is grabbed! He went a little bit too far as Jack is pounding into him! But he is able to get the heck out of it. He's gonna be kept alive here. Uh-oh, here comes the fleet. The Sharks uh, oh, are moving oh. in. Will they walk oh. into it? Yes! Directly walking into the Sharks. Here comes the arrow. Almost hits him. What a great force to have to get him out of there. And the teams are healing up. Here we go. Trent is back. The creeps are pushing. And the battle be bushing. This, uh, Jack, Jack really needs to use his ultimate there. Okay, there we go. 4.5k HP. Uh-oh. Cinder oh. going in. What? He's alive. He's a zombie now. And he manages to make it out of there. The Omni Slash is out. The BKB is popped. Here comes the team fight that we've been oh, waiting for. Oh, there's a Trent with the cleave. Could it be? Pimp Uncle. He's down under the towers. He's taking some massive hits. Mott is down as the team goes oh, in. But here comes the boats. Oh, oh big ground. Oh, that's a ravage. But the boats are keeping him in the back line. Tacos getting hit. He's going to have to go invisible. Trent making his way in. He wants to get Zayori real bad. Zayori going for the safe neck. He taken out. And Zayori in the back. He's quick. But is he quick enough? Oh. No, he makes it. But they do pick up Sind in the back line. Yeah, pretty good amount of kills. Zyra's really fast right now. Holy Jesus. <laughs> Look at him go. Zipping across the map. All right, <laughs> slowing down a little bit as the heals come through here. But still really good team fight for the Dire team. I mean, it's it's hard to play against Batrider. And Sunsven is legitimately, he has a better Batrider build. Believe it or not. I don't believe it. It's, it's a fact. Okay. It's a little stronger. Picks up a Lotus Orb. The downside sometimes is buying too many defensive items like Lotus is you could instead buy items that kill people. But yes. Jack's got the big pickup. It's time, man. 35% oh. chance to crit for double the damage. Oh. Oh. And he's getting Tidebringer oh. Cleave off that. It's, it's scary. <laughs> oh, yes. If there's ever been a time. <laughs> Thank you, Mott. I hope everyone oh, had a good time. If there's ever been a time for something to happen, it is now. Team Slacks running down that mid lane. We've got deaths on the team of Team Purge. Most of them without buybacks. Most of them. Oh. Is that the, the crazy reveal? Most of them. <laughs> Here we go. Hitting that middle tower. Will they actually defend this at all? Or are they going to play I, it I safe? I think they're going to lose this tower for sure. That's going to be Shrine advantage, as we can tell at this uh, 4K average game. It's a big deal to lose map control. Everybody knows that. Here we go. Taking down those racks. Can you believe it? They are tied up on racks now. Actually ahead oh. as they try to Put move on. One. Wow. Ooh, they have to skip that on the racks. They're going to go for the bottom the tower. Shield. Get that split push on. The silence is out, but the full team is here. Purge, are you ready for the fight to end I this am. game? Looking for the rupture on Jackie. Gets it off. Oh, oh they're clean, though. They're taking them out. Almost an insta kill from the entire team. The team's moving in. Pump Uncle in the middle there. They're going to force out the BKB. The right flicks, the ravage, but the ghost fleet right on top. He will not be able oh, to get it off. Alive. Oh, no. Pimp's alive. They got to move back. They got to protect Jack. The He's all that they have. Pretty long, the though. Purge. It's a long silence. It's the grave on top. Taco's moving in. Pimp Uncle going to go down. Yes. Everybody's dead. It's just Cinder and left. I don't know if he can defend against this many people. Could it be? Could the dream scenario. They're 2K ahead. They're going to go for the win. And nobody has buyback. Oh, Cinderin. All right. Just needs to do this four more times. Four more. It could happen. And there's still Mod. We know Mod is very sensitive to ma magic damage. That's for sure. Yes. Oh, 
listening to what I said. He's running literally to his fountain. <laughs> run, Mott, run! It's the only safe thing to do. Got another boat. Come on, boat. Oh, the boat's coming in. Cinderin will have to do this one himself. He is stunning them out, making sure they can't hit those towers, trying to buy as much time as he can. The Dagon comes out, but it will. It just doesn't look like enough. He's got nobody to back him up. The Ancient is exposed. The question marks are out. Team Slash from a 20 network deficit is going for the win. And Cinderin oh. has no answer. He's blocking it for the damage oh. here. Oh, they're on the God. stage already. The game's not even over yet. They're they up. left. Oh, my they God. They already left, ladies and gentlemen. We oh. did it. Going to rub it in. Team Slacks did it. They left their booths before the Ancient was even down. MVP, right? MVP. Uh, well, yeah, he did pretty good. I think it's easy. Jack, let's be real. Jack. Jack. Jack carried the team, I think. I think Shannon's build was very good as well, though. Um, but Jack definitely held that. 28 kills. Yeah, I think that one was Jack. I don't know. That, that was like Jack. absolutely. He the, did uh, 85,000 damage on his team. Next closest was Suns fan at 34. Some big number discrepancies for sure across the game. But that was that was a close one. The only competent analyst, the only competent player, yeah. and the only non-Moon Duck employee at the event. <laughs> Ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Incredible. It's Jack. Was there any surprise? No. no <laughs> not, not at all. Not really. What an amazing ability draft game. Truly life-altering stuff there. Yeah. We learned so much about what a great game mode yeah. it was. I, I'm sure the first thing that happens when we get home is you're going to play ability draft with me all day. I sure, sure will. Golly gee, it's made a, a fan out of me. No, I, honestly, though, for a second. I love Ability Draft. I think it's a great game mode. If you learn or want something new to learn, if you get bored with regular Dota, Ability Draft is a great way to do that. I really recommend trying it out. Play with your friends. All right. I'll Don't play with randoms. It's all dangerous. jokes aside, you know, I got to agree with you. It's always good to have new game modes. These kind of game modes are what make the game fun for new players and mm -hmm. give them a stress-free place to learn and grow. And it's one of the ways that we make Dota continue uh, to be the great game that it is today. Every game is different. Every Thank game. God, because I was—I don't want to experience that one again. Never again. <laughs> All right. Thank you for watching, everybody. We're going to throw to a very short break, and then we will be back for your finals. Almost. See you soon.